In the last episode, our group collected their oils and lizards and departed the bazaar, but not before spotting five undead astrals standing side by side, staring blankly at the beige walls. They came upon Ezekiel's hut once again, shaded by the dunes surrounding it. With a quick pit stop, they convinced the lizard man to sell two of his mounts for 500 gold and a blue potion provided by our alchemist. Back on the dusty trail, they trudged a few more miles until they reached the forest line separating the desert from the mainland. Deciding that this was the right time, Felix popped Ava's corpse out of his weasel skin bag and performed a reincarnation. Spawning a fresh half-elf woman on the sand, our druid was able to pull Ava's soul out of her previous form and place it into her new one. Resolving their differences, the squad added a new member to their team as they entered the shaded forest. Reaching the billowing clouds and craggy cliff, Ava was able to lift them all up to see her portal pad, thanks to Penelope's featherweight potion. Immediately getting caught by the station guards, they were all taken to the brig, save for Felix, who morphed into a rat and scurried away to Claude's fight pit. Convincing the bartender to come with them, Felix dashed back to the main gate and was let into the brig by Giannis. Inside, the group was put back together after Bromness had entered and houdini the metal bars away. They now find themselves in the empty cells as the Mountain Dwarf awaits their arrival in his office. Welcome back to Retrograde, a D&D campaign by Fudge Troll. I'm Mr. Popper, and these are my penguins. Andrew Akers. Hello. Ty Sheets. Hello. Jesse Wagner. Hello. And Ian Jones. Uh, I'm not doing that. Oh, man. <laughs> not even once. <laughs> yeah. It's way too early for this shit. <laughs> we all said you were going to be the one to fuck it up. And sure enough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, and Ty couldn't even put up with it. He's done. He's done with your shit. So where can you describe where we are right now? Yes. Uh, so at this point, you guys are still sa- standing in the empty... Uh, cell room, getting ready to head to Brahms' office. He has already left and went in. Uh, And he will be contacting the higher-ups as well as Arnie, uh, which will take, we'll say about an hour or so till they all arrive. Felix, I, well, everyone, uh, once we get in there, I can get us started, but how open? Are, are there guards around us right now? Are we? Or I'm at, we're still in the cell, so like there's people watching us. You're alone. Uh, the previous guard had already left. I can hand it off to you if you want to talk about the, you know, what you have in your bag. Oh, the. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ava, that um, thing. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. I can talk about that. Ava, it's gonna get weird in there. I'm sure. Uh, I know you haven't been back here in a long time, and. Uh, Seeing your brother again after all this time, uh, I'm sure it will be it won't be easy. Um, but we're here for you, just so you know. And uh, uh, I think we all share the same interests. So just please keep that in mind going into this. I sure hope so. It's going to be strange seeing him again. Uh, by the way, the phrases you asked about, I remembered yes. a couple of them. Sure. We come in peace. Quo, Seno, Yem, Kuso. Uh, how can we help? Feku, Sum, Quo, Fok. Fok? Fok. F O K. Feku, Sum, Quo, Fok. Fok. Feku, Sum, Fok. And I, I can get you more in the future, but I, th- I think the last one you needed is uh, where, where's the bus station? Uh, yeah, that would be a good one. Yeah, of course. Right, where, where, where can we find transportation? Uh, I should say. Kulo, yuck. Well, say that again. Kulo, Kulo, yuk, cho, vak, segugium. You could have made these any fucking words, and you had to make them absolutely <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Impossible uh, to pronounce. And yes. What, what is what is? Thank you. Let me reference my mind for a second. <laughs> Um, while she's thinking, uh, Iron Hammer and Penelope, is there anything that you two can think of, uh, to give us a leg up or help us out in this conversation that we're about to have? I could bless y'all. That doesn't actually do anything. 
<laughs> guidance. <laughs> guidance is what I'm saying. <laughs> or Could do enhance ability, yeah. That would be a good one for charisma checks. Let me check which one that is. It's advantage. Yeah, yeah. But I got to know what to call it. Oh. It might be like Owl's Wisdom. It could be like Elephant's Grace. You know? True. Is it Fox um, Cunning? Yeah. Or is it might be, actually. Those of you who spell cast, uh, Ava, for you as well. I feel like I remember reading or hearing about a spell that can make people be truthful. Is that a. Does that exist? Is that something? Oh, I can do that. I can do that too. Only if they stand in a circle. Well. Ah, uh, uh, the zone of truth. I. The zone of I, truth. <laughs> I, I remember, Penelope, that you have the person, but. I don't know if we want to try to make everyone drink something. I, it, it might set off the wrong uh, alarm bells in their heads. I mean, they're definitely, they're they're definitely going to notice a big circle, <laughs> a glowing <laughs> circle of zone of truth. No, but we, it's something that well, we can request. I can transport Penelope. us via plants. We'll keep that in mind. What were you saying, Penelope? <laughs> I was going to say, we, if, I have these syringes that I've had for quite some time. Um, <laughs> well, what we could do, I can just all do heroin. Do a syringe, and then we could have one, one on their chairs, and then go and just. Get them. We'll we'll maybe use that as a last resort. Uh, just Gosh. you know. Speaking of of all that though, do we have our gear on us, or was that all taken before we were taken into our jail cells? That was all taken. Do, so, do we have? Does like Felix have his bag? And mm -hmm. do we have these things? Uh, yeah, they would have only taken uh, weapons. Oh, okay, just wanted to make sure. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Ava, were you able to think of that phrase? Chumpion. 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 Chump. Great poop. Uh, great <laughs> Chumpion. Uh, Thank you. Chumpion to you. Thank you to you. <laughs> We're just going to see, I guess, where things take us. Um, did we ask them? Do we? Do you remember if we talked to Bromness about uh, your guys' friend who was here? It was he, uh, Iron Hammer. He didn't respond to you, right, when you did your stone thing? No, no reply. Well, I don't know. Maybe they maybe they didn't give it to him, or I don't know. Maybe did I talk to? Found. Did I ask? Um... Quad about. Yeah, he Carla. said he just was gone. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I, I think ultimately our goal is at the end to present this map that we have, and I think whatever answers we're looking for, that direction, and maybe if they're willing to work with us, then we can venture a trip out there. Um, be what we have to offer on the table. Well, if we can find anybody that knows anything about that continent. Yeah, maybe they do. Maybe, you know, we, we'll bring it up and, and go from there. Well, I can cut down on our traveling time exponentially. Really? Yes. So I can, in theory, if somebody knows something about that continent that can give me information that I can scry on the continent and see if there's any big trees we can transport from... We'll have to go back down to the ground. But we can transport from, like, here to there instantaneously. Cry. <laughs> like, look into. Like, the thing that I did. Oh. I think I did it. Around you. I don't know if I did or not. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Can you can do it on people? Yeah. If, if the... Council or Bromness, or whoever here doesn't know where Top Knot is, that's always an option. Are you able to do it on people you've never seen before? If it's like, if they're described to you? If I'm given enough information, I believe so. How long until Bromness comes in? Do we, did he did he tell us how long it's going to be? I don't think before? he gave us a time frame. No, he just said think, to meet him. Do you think before we go, if I give you a description of someone, can you see if you can find them? No, you've you've met this person before. Who is this person? Uh, uh, private Peter Parts from ah, New Haven. Pri good old Private guard. Parts. Yeah, I, I, I think I had, well, I had spoken to a guard who said he had gone up to Illuminique 
uh, which sounded odd to me. Maybe we can look in and see what they're doing up there. I have, no, still there. Pr- I have no problem spying on private parts. <laughs> can you do it now? I can do it whenever. It's not going to mess you up or weaken you for this combo? I mean, no, not weaken me for the combo. If we get into a, like a, a really serious fight, I might burn a little bit more than I should. But, yeah. yeah um, here, just uh, let's sit down and uh, you, you do your thing. And uh, just tell me what you see. I'm going to cast the scrying spell. So do I see the private parts? You see as many private parts as you want. Uh, sitting I down. I just want to see one specific private part. Sitting down with uh, Stenwick. Oh, you can. I'm sitting down with Stenwick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. describing him. I'm like, what? Is this inception? I am not me. Uh, you can, crying from the future. <laughs> you can close your eyes, and after a uh, few moments, uh, it, it's, it's hazy at first. And it doesn't even look snowy or icy. Instead, you you come into a uh, a greenish haze. As you see trees blowing around you, and up ahead you can see the color of pink leaves, and then you're back. Did he describe that to me? Did you describe it as you were seeing it? So, yes. Um, I don't believe he is in a Luminique. From, from what I could see, it, it, it more so seemed like the Hanami Forest. Was he with anyone? I, I didn't see specifics. I only saw glimpses. They're following in our footsteps. Footsteps. Yeah, I that was my not... concern. I hope they're not like a cleanup crew. Should we? I think they might be. Try to intercept? Well, I I learned from Toad that they had gone to the Tyrant base after you guys. And I learned from, what was it, Private Zachary or one of the guards? Zachariah, uh, yep. Zachariah, that they went to the Luminique. So yeah, it's, it seems that way. Um, this conversation is going to have to be expedited, uh, I'm thinking. Well, we, they we, don't know. King DuPont doesn't know that we completed our mission in the outpost or in the, in the, the oasis. oasis. Right. So and we have a way of getting theory, to the Hanami Forest super quick. We do. Portal. They don't know that. Or I can just bamf us right in the middle of the... Um, only if we have a tree here, which we don't. We can go back down to the earth. Yeah, but there's a portal right at the entryway. Yeah, but take this right puts there. us right at the... I mean, it's it's walk down to the trees on the ground or walk to the big tree where the... It's it's six one way, half a dozen the other, but one way saves you a spell slot. True. Um, okay. That's if they yeah. we can convince them to let us use the portals again. They were pretty but, butthurt about that. We'll cross that when we get to it, but, uh, okay, we're going to need to bring this up as well. Um, and you two didn't have anything? Yeah, my quiet boys, you got anything to say? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Iron Hammer, if we are given the go-ahead, it'll be on you to maybe cast this Zone of Truth or this spell, whatever it is. Zone of Truth. The circle of truth, trust. It's right. the zone of truth. It's not just a circle. It's a whole fucking zone. But I have nipples. Can you milk me? All right. And it's uh, eagle's splendor, by the way, when you want to make charisma checks. Oh, okay. and, be a sw- and be a suave. Our eagles... You should know this, Felix. Are eagles generally considered suave animals? They are the suavest. Hmm. Wouldn't have been my first choice. <laughs> the the only thing that I can say is more suave than an eagle. A fox. Nope. Kind a of honey badger. Mm. I hear that they do not give a shit. They they don't give a fuck. Not only a shit, <laughs> but an entire fuck. 
Is it bad when you mentioned like our eagle suave? I immediately went to Sam the Eagle, the Muppet. And I was like, that dude's got some like DILF energy. <laughs> DILF. Yeah. Why is he a father? Dad, dad, a dog, dog I'd like to fuck. Anyway, um, <laughs> it should be in any minute. <laughs> if you guys are all set, you can exit the room. And oh, that's right. hungry. <laughs> Have you eaten? Have I eaten? Ava. Oh. Uh, no, I had that warm ale from Penelope, but that's about it. <laughs> I gave you guys some lizard gizzard jerky. Nobody gave me sure. any. <laughs> My lizard gizzard jerky. <laughs> Whatever is left. We just sat there eating it in front of her. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm all stuffed then. Thank you very much for the jerky. <laughs> yeah, she could be eating that as we're waiting. We're they're waiting on us. Yeah. Like, oh, you, are they? You realize oh, that? Let's let's go in. I know. I, I thought we were waiting on people to arrive, and then they were gonna. No, they're waiting it. on us to arrive. Oh fuck! All right, <laughs> we go in. <laughs> you can exit the brig. Uh, walk through the various hallways until you reach Bromness's office once again. Entering inside, you can see Bromness and Captain Silver. Captain, it's good to see you. Captain Long John Silver. <laughs> How's the I was eye? hoping you would be attending this conversation today. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, it's nice to see you all too. Uh, I don't know what's really going on though. Bromness just rushed me in here. I hope everything's all right. Bromness, I, I imagine there's more pillars of your community than just the two of you. More council members, more people who run the place. I imagine this conversation was going to take part uh between more than just the handful of us well we do have uh the salt of the earth pillar uh claude uh with you guys so i don't think we need much else but besides us we still have mop mop and arnie to come mop mop. captain rogers is i'm assuming he is he's just staying at hanami or that was the plan uh if you would like him to be here we could arrange him to come. Well, uh, we can... We've just come upon some information. Uh, there potentially might be an uh, incoming attack on the Hanami outpost. Uh, is there a way that you can send someone out just to give them fair warning? Uh, it's going to be ground troops, people with swords, shields, bows, uh, the like. They're not familiar with the land, to my understanding. Another one. Uh, yes, uh, one second. He will pick up his sending stone from his desk, uh, hold it to his ear. Janice, uh, line one, could you please uh, alert Captain Rogers? Uh, there may be an attack coming. So that's the next stone's work. I am like a switchboard operator somewhere. I didn't I have moving, I moving rocks around. For <laughs> that's what Janice does. I get it. She just has a bunch of sending stones on her desk that are that are numbered. <laughs> line one, line two. <laughs> uh, over, and he will set it back down. <laughs> that was probably less than twenty-five words. I wasn't counting, but I bet it was. That was pretty good. I don't either, but she she does she does her job well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll wait for them to arrive then if you don't mind uh, of course what we have to say is for everyone to hear for all of the ears in the world is there a way that Winry could be invited as well um, I know that we've interacted with her several times in the past she might have some information that could be helpful oh sure can, can we invite the little boy that I kicked too like, are we just inviting everybody we've interacted with? In Tommy, city? Tommy John. Yeah, fuck that kid. Yeah, Tommy John. I, I think we're good without Tommy John for now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking mostly just pillars of the community, people who know the area well. Uh, I know Winry knows the area below us well. What about uh, the li library boy, um, Leuven? Leuven. Sadly, would have been one of the first ones on my list. He had a memory for the ages. Sadly, he's been gone for a number of weeks now. Well, well where did he go? Unexplained explosive. Oh. Oh, that kind of gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> my condolences. Um, 
Also, can, speaking of unexpected explosives, yeah, with diamond, I can I can bring them back. What do they call those things? IUDs. <laughs> Improvised uterine devices. Ah, oh, yes, those things. DNA. <laughs> On the note of you know unexplained explosions, have you seen my boy Topknot? Top he, ask about him. He feels like he should be the one that's here. I yeah, I would have thought that would be he already he'd already be with you. Uh, no, I gave him that sending stone uh, before you went to the desert, but. That's all I've heard from him. Iron Hammer. You haven't seen him since? No, I mean... Sleeping or something. At the the library when he has a shift, but it's been a couple days now. Oh, well, we we tried to get a hold of him and it seemed like he was not answering his calls. And Claude, nothing? Try again. We only only tried once. Iron Hammer, you have the stone on you. Try it again. I give him a ring. Hello? Ring, ling, ding, ding, ding. Can you hear me? I'm going through a tunnel. You can send as uh, as many messages as you as you like, but however long you'd like to wait, no He's response. His calls. In that case, I'm gonna send. I'm just gonna say hi every five minutes until he replies to the sending stem. Straight straight to voicemail. Unfortunately, <laughs> voicemail box is full. It's just 25 messages of you saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like an old boomer trying to use a cell phone. After, uh, I'd say another half an hour or so, first uh, Winry will arrive, followed eventually by Mop Mop and Sergeant Arnie. Does Arnie see his sister? Or does, his, does Arnie's sister see him? Because he wouldn't recognize her. I would say first Winry would enter, say hello. Wait, are we all still in Bromness's office? Yes, everyone is. <laughs> I don't know what that laughs about, and I don't like it. <laughs> it's just a tiny. I'm just imagining like a tiny room. Oh, it's, yeah, <laughs> just all cramming into it. <laughs> it's a clown car. Uh, Winry will enter, say her hellos, and behind Mop Mop will enter like the uh, like the party that he is, and Arnie will follow behind, uh, not not thinking of anything. Out of the ordinary, uh, he looks a little frightened to see everyone grouped up, and if anyone turns their head, they can see Ava uh, in the corner by herself, just kind of staring. That's me in the corner. I'm gonna go over to Arnie. Hey, it's good to see you. Uh, that's very, very nice to see you too. I'm gonna go over to Ava real quick. Mm-hmm. I'm going to whisper in her ear. Hello, little mama. Let me whisper in your ear. There's <laughs> some things that you really want to hear. Stop it. Your brother you. and Stan, your fucking... Felix, now is not the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to walk away. There's some things that are going to be coming to light uh, in this conversation that, um, well, just... Is there any seats in the room? Uh, yeah, two chairs. I recommend sitting. Me? Uh, I mean, sure, but... (laughs) Before we make you sit. (laughs) If nobody else... Yeah. You can can sit. It's gonna be alright. I give him a little wink. Clear my throat. Turn back to Brum. He he calms down a bit, but you can see he's still, uh, a little, uh, 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 white in the face. Well, looks like we've got everyone here. Uh, as long as you guys are all set, I'd say yeah. it's uh, time to get started. Right before we do, uh, just about an hour ago, we were prisoners uh, here. We're willing to let that slide if you agree that we are all approaching this conversation as equals. Of course. Uh, my intention was never to make you feel less than or as an enemy I just had to put my foot down understood that aside I was wondering what your thought was on if we just to ensure that everyone here is being as honest and as forthright as possible possibly adding a 
arcane component to this conversation. I've been assured that my companion Iron Hammer here can... Well, uh, you can explain it better than I can. Zone of truth. <laughs> yeah, I could have could have seen that one coming. <laughs> How about... Uh, uh, I don't know who wants to roll it, but we're going to definitely need some kind of persuasion. Well... <laughs> He's assisting me, technically, right? Do I get a roll of the band? <laughs> yeah, technically. <laughs> well, you already, who, who did you cast the eagle? I didn't cast it yet. Yeah. The swan. <laughs> <you didn't. laughs> it, it, it only lasts for... Hey, hey. It's fine. Now I just rolled a... I rolled a natural 20. I rolled a natural 20, you see. Ah, uh, he's so convinced. So good. I backflip in the background as my hope action. <laughs> I was assuming we would have some uh, truths come out during this, so that is fine with me. Uh, if anybody has any objections, fuck please them. fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, no objections here. It was our idea, so. If you insist. Um, well, that- now, hold on. Me, Claude, I don't know about this. I got a lot of traits. <laughs> me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> the person that I am. How how am I supposed uh, to believe you're not gonna you're not gonna steal my mud pit? We promise not to ask any. <laughs> we promise not to ask like any. Rape <laughs> and you <laughs> know. You're gonna steal you my have, mud pit. You don't have to answer any questions. But if you choose to answer a question, you can't lie about it. That's how it works. So don't worry. Your mud pit is safe. <laughs> Your mud pit is safe with me, pal. <laughs> Good. No questions here. <laughs> Even though I gave you the idea for the mud pit. <laughs> and uh, so everyone is aware and we're all on the same page. And everyone knows how curious I am about being honest with one another. Before this is even cast, I want everyone in the room, most of you already know this, but I want everyone in the room to be aware that I am a guard from New Haven. And I'm just going to show <gasps> my bag. The <laughs> Not everyone knows except probably Bromness. I don't know. I don't think Bromness would know that. Yeah. He no, made you a... He gave you the armor, didn't no. he? Silver did. Silver knows. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yep. And you Long can John see, Silver. You can Some see of you si- knew this already, but it's important you're aware of where I come from. Silver will pat Bromness on the back. Sorry about that, bud. Uh, most of us already knew. Uh, I hope you're all right with that. Bromness will rumble. That's uh, not what I wanted to see. But you've shown nothing but uh, nothing but helpfulness. I recognize that tension between my people and yours has not been the best. Um, there's a lot I've still been kept in the dark. Uh, about concerning that relationship and maybe we'll come to that later but uh, I think it's important that we start with the big things first we brought with us a former inhabitant of your city someone long believed to be lost and I'm gonna look over at Arnie Ava this dead bitch Quick, quick question has the zone of truth already been cast uh no I haven't cast anything yet. Okay. Arnie will look at you in total disbelief. Iron Hammer, can you? You mind? What? Oh, he got me to do this. Okay. Zone of truth. So everyone has everyone has to make a charisma saving throw. Who is going to be in the zone? I choose to fail. Ah, uh, natural one. <laughs> <laughs> I am nothing but truthful. <laughs> I don't choose a fail, but I do it anyway. <laughs> oh, also, I get to know whether they succeed or fail on their cruise yeah. saving throw. We, we should all just not fight it. <laughs> that would defeat the purpose. Claude got a natural 20. <laughs> did he <laughs> right? Yeah, he did. 
Well, <laughs> he'll fail it on purpose. <laughs> I just want you to know, I could have lied. <laughs> have we taken a long rest since? Yeah, we slept before we got here. Okay. For some reason, I didn't renew anything. Right. Yeah. You, I mean, you guys are running on, it, it's been a very long day, but you do have full spell slots. Yeah, I, mean, I had enough spell slots for that, but mm. I wasn't sure if we had actually rested. Okay, cool. Anyway, the zone of truth. I'm going to repeat that again, just in case anyone thought I wasn't being honest. The woman you see before you, the elven woman, used to be a human from this city named Ava. She fell, and uh, Ava, you you can take it from there. You can tell your story better than I can. And I'm watching Arnie the whole time as she's going to be talking. She will look at Arnie first. Uh, hey, brother. Uh, hey, brother. That's exactly what, hey, brother. exactly what I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> The cream always rises to the top. <laughs> so, yeah, you remember we were playing all those years ago? And you let me fall, you fucking asshole. You didn't save me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Kids, I feel like fucking talk. <laughs> I fell and was able to stop myself by falling into the crag and some actually saved me. At this moment, Arnie will stand up. You can see him shaking a bit. I... I know what you're thinking, but... I promise I'm still on your side. And I know I don't look the same that... These guys brought me back. You can see Arnie's face getting red. As his eyes tear up. And he will rush over to Ava, fists clenched. He has to look up, uh, seeing as her new form is a couple inches taller. But he will open his arms and pull her in for the biggest hug that he can give her. I, I thought I, I lost you. There's so much. There's so much you've missed. Arnie will look over at the four of you. What? what what's going on? Where do, where do we go from here? She's been living among them. The astrals, they helped her. She can speak their language. When we went to the Oasis, we met with an astral there. Uh, an odd astral. And we also found a tower once manned by us, people both from your city and mine. We located a map at this place. Has anyone here ever heard of the land of Primador? No response for a couple moments. And then you see Bromness's hand raise. I... I know of it. What do you know? It's... It's their land. Their land? Their homeland. Like the Astrals? Yes. Ava, when we first met you, you said that this land was their land. Was... Did they own both? Were they in control of both? Who's lying? Oh, wait a minute, nobody can lie. <laughs> I thought... I thought this was their land. I thought the ones here, that was it. And you've never heard of this place, Primador. Never heard them talk about it. Never heard them talk about where they came from, why they're here. No, no, they never... They never once mentioned it. Bromness will say... Obviously, they couldn't tell you everything, it looks like. This is... Muldoon. 
it's also their land. But it's not it's not the origins. How uh how deep do we want to go? As deep as we can go. <laughs> no more secrets. We need to know everything. We've been we've been fighting and killing these creatures assuming that we're doing, you know, good. And, you know, I've never been one to to really give a shit about like anything else, but I also am one that doesn't like to kill for no reason. If if anyone knows anything more, please like tell us now. In the interest of full disclosure, um, yes, we need to know as much as we can. And we need to know if you know why New Haven fits into all of this. How? And and why the King, King DuPont wanted so badly for us to eradicate the astrals. This continent that we are currently on, Muldoon, have you seen other creatures down there more giant figures uh, bleed bleed yellow yellow yes yes they are the original astrals the astrals you see now they have been created out of centuries of evolution they eventually split from these uh, great beasts after finding the landmass of Premador. The eldest astrals are considered, and I'm sorry to say this, the guardians of Muldoon, the ones you have been sent to hunt. Frederick, He's the one floating above us in the mausoleum. He's the one that is keeping us afloat. Is, is Frederick an astral? No, no. <laughs> no, Frederick was a, he was a halfling. He, uh... From, from New Haven. Yes, from New Haven. He was the, uh, their main sorcerer. We don't allow magic where I'm from. At least not anymore. Exactly. Not anymore. Him and the majority of the magic division of New Haven split. Why? After his trips causing devastation destruction, he realized that he was killing innocents after also finding Primador. Him and the rest of the wizards broke off from New Haven, creating this to rid our hands of anything that happens on the ground. The attack that you people had suffered just a few months ago. Do you, is that related to this? It happens. Every so it often. Happens. They, they can sense his, his source. But from day one, what he always told me, never react. You, so you knew him personally, Frederick. I did. Who is this they that you speak of? Astrals. So it was. So we're just confirming now that the astrals are the ones that attacked. Attacked. Mm-hmm. Yes. Which we kind of knew anyway because of the yellow liquid that was in the. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's a big black metal. When we went out to the Oasis, we ran into an astral that had abilities that were different than the other ones we encountered. Um, 
I'm going to nod at Felix. I'm going to reach into the bag of holding and grab the uh, undead astral head and plop it on the desk. Some real Game of Thrones vibes. Throwing it on the desk, everyone jumps back as it wriggles, leaving <laughs> yellow blood seeping onto the table as it looks up at everyone. <sighs> you harbor a tenuous truce with the creature that created this, but we're it's assuming not going to last. created it. I have not seen this before, and I'm glad I don't have to. He will raise his hand above the head and come down with the force of his mountain dwarf hand, crushing it like a paper mache. Hey, that was mine. <laughs> it appears that it's amassing a small army of these creatures to the west. We wanted, our goal was to take care of this problem peacefully. We still want to do that. After he, uh, you know, squished this astral head, can I look at Ava and see how she reacted to said event? Yes. Uh, if you would have turned immediately, you could see her wince. And also, how did she react to the fact that I even had said undead astral head. Squirming the entire time. Um, you can see... It was visibly uncomfortable. Yeah, you can see uh, Arnie's next door uh, with his hand gripping her shoulder the entire time. Okay. Is a lasting peace with these creatures possible? What do they want? It seems like they want us to fuck off. Uh, they just want thank you land. iron hammer but where <laughs> you spoke perfectly <laughs> so i've got away with words is there another continent that humanoid beings beings like us originated from i've never seen a map with anything of that sort on it well as you can see with the bubble around us uh, i'm speaking honestly i do not know i would assume there is another place but that is not my concern, as well as nothing on the ground is my concern. Well, but you have outposts, outposts that have been attacked. Isn't that not your concern? If this issue with whatever those things are gets too big, we will have to recall all of, the, all of our citizens. You mentioned the city closing down here because of attacks at the outposts. This group already handled the Astrals at two, which was all of your locations because there was no such outpost at the Oasis. Why did you close the city? Safety, physically and emotionally. I, I've spoken on it before, briefly. None of us agreed. But it was Frederick's request. Wait. It was Frederick's request that you close the city? Yes. I was under the impression Frederick was dead in a mausoleum and his body was interred there. Are you telling me he's alive? To an extent. Obviously, his body is being used to power this. But, uh... Other than that, brain dead. But it was his idea to close the city. If he's brain dead, how is he having ideas? Maybe his I brain is still speaking. It was his ideals from the very beginning. Do not retaliate. There's no way to speak to him is what you're saying. There's no way to communicate with Elton Frederick. For most people, they cannot. We know somebody that can. Yeah, Felix, you have that ability. Um, no. 
Iron Hammer has the ability to talk with dead. Oh, Iron Hammer has it. Iron Hammer. I can just bring him back from the dead. Sorry. He's so quiet. I forgot he was here. Yeah, man. Casting Zone of Truth takes a lot out of me. <laughs> that insane get fucked. <laughs> that insane get fucked. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we could, uh, I, let me, let me just check this spell that I definitely for sure know how it works, how long the person's allowed to have been dead for. Hey, but if, having spent so much time around these creatures, do you think they would be agreeable to possibly relocating to the country of their, or the, the continent of their origin? Uh -huh the other continent of their origin. Back to Primador? I mean, I would hope so, but... There's still from, few of them left. From spending time with them, though, even though there is few, this is theirs. Speak with Dead has no limit. As long as they have a mouth. And as long as the corpse hasn't been spoken to within the last 10 days. Well, is there anything that we need to ask Frederick specifically. I feel like Bromness can answer pretty much everything that I had in mind. Moving forward, it sounds like we have a couple options. We can, well, most of which lead us to Primador. What, how do we get to Primador? Yeah. I, well, I, I know a boat, boat maker to the east. Um, he can hook us up with just about anything we need. Bromness, have you ever been to yeah, has anyone been there before? No, no, not that I, not that I know of. From well, there's no people. There's no people there. No, no. Uh, from Frederick, it was. They saw. They saw the edge of the island or the continent, but uh, they had no way to get over there. I mean, maybe we should talk to Frederick just to see if there's any information about the continent he can give us. Do you know any history of New Haven outside of when Frederick broke away? Our history books don't tell us much about when we were founded or the or what used to be there prior to Gerald DuPont starting his reign. I do not know much of uh, New Haven's past besides what uh, Frederick leaked to me. I, uh, I didn't know him until after he had already left. But I would assume whatever you've been told by them, there is much more to uncover. Well, it's... You haven't heard anything from anyone at Illuminique, have you? Any reports, any... Uh, we were under the impression there was potentially a cleanup operation running behind us from New Haven. Uh, that's what we believe is heading to Hanami now. Oh, no. I have not heard from the Captain Garth yet. When was the last time you spoke to Holbrook? Bromness, I'm sorry. So, you shut down communication between your city and your outposts, it, citing safety reasons? And you just left the people in these outposts to fend for themselves? <laughs> Again. Pretty fucking shitty, bro. Yeah, bro. Again, not a choice I wanted to make. But Frederick made it clear. Nothing. Ground level. How long did Fred... How long ago did Frederick die? A couple days ago. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> and the cosmic scale, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that was, was happened like 50 years ago or something. Oh, no, it was many years. It would have been a couple hundred years by now. That makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're telling me that you made clear hundreds of years ago that you're to shut off communication with your people on the ground because of attacks that you say happen somewhat regularly? Yes. I did not say I agreed with it. But you still did it. But we still did it. <laughs> so you did agree with it. Is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah fuck it, him. He's dead. You need to get someone there like yesterday. 
and maybe send some flowers because that's pretty weird. Can we? Pretty shitty uh, things. Felix, are you able to scry again? I can scry one more time. Can you try scrying on Gar- uh, Garth Holbrook? Yeah. I'm going to sit Garth down in the middle, middle of or, the uh, What was Claude's room? brother or cousin's name? Perry. 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 Perry's there too, right? Jerry? Yep, Perry would still, Perry would still be there. So Gary's Perry. there. Yes, Perry. Oh, so, I mean, either one, if you knew one more than the other. I mean, me and Gary were fucking tight. I'm going to sit on the floor. Oh, Claude's probably going to want you to scry on his cousin just to make sure he's safe. And uh, I'm going to I'm gonna cast the old scrying potion or spell. Claude's going to come up behind you and put his hands on your shoulders. You can close your eyes, go to complete darkness. Can I, before we do this, can yeah. I retcon? Doesn't, um, what's her nuts have a fucking orb of scrying? Well, we don't know that, but I'm about to say, like, yeah, when we had is. Janice at the table with all of her sending stones, you're telling me she didn't talk to anyone at Illuminique during this time, but she could talk to people at Hanami? She just didn't. No one, no one needed her to. <laughs> That's cr- <laughs> These fucking people. <laughs> Closing your eyes goes to complete darkness. You can see the flurries of snow. You can feel the cold, but it just goes dark again. And then that's it. So, well, what what would you get? What did he say? Um. So. You're obviously not familiar with scrying. I, I can't communicate. I can just check in on people. And he's still at Illuminique. Uh, what is he doing? I, I don't know. I didn't actually see him. I only saw... You, you, know, ju- you just saw uh, Baron... Yeah. Snow snowy skin. Wasteland. That's, that doesn't bode well. Um, Romnus, your secretary, can she send a message out? Janice, yeah, yes. Uh, I'll do that right after Janice we're finished too. here. No, you you should get a hold of her and have oh, her send a message right, out. Right, my... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I already did that. <laughs> Janice, Romnus again, line two. Uh, <laughs> check with Captain Holbrook as soon as possible. Bye. <laughs> I go over to Winry, Mm -hmm. and I want to ask her if she still has the capability. Do you still have that scrying orb uh, from when, way back when? Yes, yes, that should be in the potion room. I'm almost wondering if if we should use that. I don't doubt Felix's abilities here, but the... I don't feel 100% it being black. Um, you know, maybe we we ought to try your scrying orb and just see if it if we can pick up anything else. But one other thing, you know, with with everything coming to light, is what uh what was her name? The the girl that was in your basement. Oh, Carly. Carly. Oh, in the sex dungeon. In the sex dungeon. No. Wait. Zone of truth. Zone of truth. No. Zone of truth. <laughs> Not a sex dungeon. <laughs> yes, Carly. What about her? <laughs> What's that? Where is she? Still in the basement. Why? I guess I could let her out by now. Why was she in there to begin with? You're not in the conversation. I'm there. Well, I don't even see why are you still hiding her? Yeah, is it, it, well, that's the question. Is the conversation open or is it a private aside? I was making a private aside. Were we made aware that they were, that they had said that the gatherers were attacked by New mm-hmm. Haven? Mm-hmm. Were we aware of that? I know Ty was. Oh, I don't know if all of us. I think, didn't you relay that on to us? Or didn't Bromness or someone tell us? 
Yeah, I feel like they're all of us knew that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Bromness relayed that it was New Haveners that did it. Uh, but Winry will, will respond to you, Penelope. Well, now that uh, Bromness has let it out of the bag, uh, she first thing I'll do is is let her out. Uh, it was it was it was protection from the from the beasts. Bromness told us to keep it a secret. Well, I feel like that's something that you should share here with the group. Um, I I did try to keep it personal, and I didn't let the others know that you were hiding her. But I think uh, if you told the the room here that you've been hiding and what happened to Carly, it would probably be good information. You're right. I've been holding this in for a little too long. Everyone, Iron Hammer and Felix specifically, I have a... Uh, we lied to you guys. Uh, we all know now it was one of those creatures that attacked my my workers. And I uh, apologize because I know you did a lot to save them. Uh, if you could all forgive me for that. So you were willing to potentially start a war between my town and yours because of what? Why why blame New Haven? Maybe I'm not quite following what's happening. Right. Like you've you've already said that attacks by these creatures are common. Why hide it? I agree. It was a uh it was a very backhanded thing to do. It was it was not right. Bromness and I felt it was best for the citizens if we put the blame on them on the ground and try to leave the the beasts and their entire lineage alone. So who here knows about the astrals? Just you? Basically just us in the room. Obviously There's been attacks on the city before, but you've never like I uh, yeah, let me let me let me specify. Uh, they they know of attacks of other beings, but they've never seen them. We just always equate it to New Haven. So the people here believe that New Haven sends big flying discs, black discs out of the sky. Big black to, discs. To attack them. That would explain some of the vitriol I experienced early on coming to this place. Thank you. Uh, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I, I guess I only have oh. one more, uh, one more point. <laughs> what was that noise? What, my burp? Was that a burp? <laughs> um, there, a couple times now, uh, it seems as if New Haven has been interested in chests, glowing chests. Uh, we discovered one such chest in the tower that uh, we had mentioned before, uh, and inside was a glowing blue potion. Um, King Dupont also has story. one of these chests. Yes. Um, apparently he has... My friend Iron Hammer here was spying on him, uh, but apparently he has one as well. Do you know what this blue liquid could be? We have it. On, um, uh, Penelope, do you have that? Penelope has it, yeah. Yeah. I'll pull it out gently and uh, show it to him. He'll, uh, he'll take it in his giant grasp. Winry, this, this is why I wanted you to be here. Maybe you could <laughs> attempt to help identify it. Uh, apparently, we, we don't know what it is. Be uh, careful. Some, I know Frederick used to deal with potions and uh, different types of illusionary magic. I'm assuming these are his creation. Uh, unfortunately, we, we do not have any uh, uh, the, the chest you speak of. We have none of that technology. But the I, chest? The, you the don't have the technology. Oh, yeah, because it was a, a special, special chest. chest. <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have glowing special item. Uh, but I would not be surprised if that was his work. Uh, and Winry will take the potion 
Yes, I mean, it doesn't look much different from anything else, but I can tell by the smell. Ooh, it almost, it almost smells like their blood. Ugh. She'll hand it back to Penelope. So it's similar to the astral <laughs> blood, only blue. It, it, it's, that's what it looks like. Uh, may have some kind of properties related. I don't Frederick could have Cidic. had it, something to do with it. Well, it Can I pour it's, out a hand in the Here is a vial of the, the Astral's blood. Then I'm going to pull out another vial and um, say this is a vial of the Blue Potion and the Astral's blood together. Huh. Interesting. It seems, it seems to work like some kind of energy uh, to power some of their weapons. Is that what this could be? Uh, some kind of energy source? It could be. We did notice that uh, from the, the dark metal, there was, uh, after, after the crash landings, there were, there were some that would have these drains of this yellow liquid. It seems to burn most of everything that isn't contained. Well... I think we have something we can ask Frederick now, at the very least. So to recap, Elder Frederick and a bunch of the magic users from New Haven broke away, started this city. They were upset because New Haven was killing Astrals? Is that why they left originally? Is that what you had said? They were killing uh, things? Yes, I mean, they were, they were a part of the killings, but they broke off after realizing that uh, they were the ones doing the invasion. So then they broke away, started this city in the clouds to get away, with, get away from all the issues that was happening below. Yes. This city still occasionally gets attacked by, attacked by those creatures. Mm -hmm. New Haven does not, at least as far as we know. But the leader of New Haven is trying to hunt down and kill the last of these creatures, and you want nothing to do with them. Correct. And Primador is kind of where they came from, but they also were from here. Yes. Well, shit. <laughs> Seems like we're, we're caught up. <laughs> Does anyone have any ideas to what our next steps are? Because we can try to relocate the Astrals to Primador, take this land for ourselves. They get Primador, we get Muldoon. We can tell DuPont that the Astrals are gone. They're nowhere in this land anymore. And be finished with all of it. There are a flaw in my, in my thought process here. I, it's, it seems like it's all hinging on one thing, but it seems almost too easy. I feel like we're missing something still. I mean, it's going to be a difficult ordeal just to be able to relocate the astrals. I, I mean, I don't know how you would feel if you were to be losing your home and being forced to relocate. Yeah, probably not brilliant. It wouldn't be good, but it's better than losing my life, the last of my people. Because right now the attacks from New Haven, I'm telling you now, they're not going to stop. They might not feel that way, though. Yeah, I mean, they may even just have a sense of pride in their land that you know, they don't they'll want to die here. In that case, the alternative is we stop New Haven and we come up with some kind of treaty and maybe establish new borders between us and the Astrals on Muldoon. We, we, we have Cirrus on our side. Bromness, is that what I'm gathering? Are your interests and our interests? Trying to stay out of conflict on the ground, that sounds the same. Yes, any kind of peace is our only goal. We can, uh, we've been able to withstand attacks, but we can't do it too much longer and we will not go to war. War with anyone or just war with the Astrals? So in the truth, the Astrals. We're going to do what we can to keep war happening between anybody. After saying that, by the way, Bromness stares at you, Stunwick. 
before breaking eye contact. I, I figured that was coming. Maybe our next step is talking to DuPont, trying to... Should we put him in the zone of truth? That might be harder. Um, I doubt he here... would be willing to go into the zone of truth. He I seems like a big liar, liar, pants on fire. We've always got the syringe plan B. <laughs> We can try talking to him. As I mentioned before, he's a very reasonable man. Um, I haven't seen any evidence of that. You keep saying still, that, but I don't know if you know the word, the meaning of the word reasonable. He still owes us quite a bit of money. He has had a million options to throw all of you in the dungeon, to lock you away, to take your heads off for disrespecting him, disrespecting his try. kingdom. You have thrown stuff at the guards, you've shit on various floors, you've mooned him several times. Just hey, only one is a big bitch. And only one of again, he has forgiven you. He has let you get away with the things that you have said and done in his kingdom. Maybe he's just not very intelligent. He's you a big old... Feel this way. Dummy. We're all here. We're we're talking openly and honestly. You 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 seriously? Maybe he's hiding a few things. Yeah, these people here were hiding things until just moments ago. For I, being I mean, completely serious, I've never trusted the man. Sure, True. you've never trusted the people here, but you're trusting. Yes, I trust some, wrongness with my life and my mouth. I trust Bromness with Mop 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 Mop's life. I trust Bromness with Mop Mop's life. <laughs> mop Mop speaks up. So do I. <laughs> oh, you're you're here. I, I forgot. I, my mop wasn't here. I forgot I was here the entire time. I brought Ar <laughs> I brought Arnie up. Zoning out. <laughs> I completely forgot. <laughs> he was Arnie's only ride. <laughs> I guess we're going to New Haven. Oh, also. Going to New Haven. You guys really have no idea where Top Knot is. Well, you're not lying. You, you have no idea where you, your city's been locked down. Uh, no, no. Uh, if anyone would know, it'd be it'd be Claude. I mean, we Claude? we see the little guy every couple days, but well, none of us um, have seen. Penelope, you said something about Winry having an orb that can do the same thing that Felix can do. Why don't we just? Spot scry. Why don't we just scry on him? I have winter is possible. Yes. Yeah. That's that's perfectly fine. He never rode well, rode me the wrong way. Yeah. I mean, we might as well do that while we're here, yeah. and uh, figure out what's going on with him, and then head up to or down to New Haven and have a reunion. Winry, are you able to bring this thing here, or do we have to come to you? If you'd like to wait for me, that's perfectly fine. I mean, we might as well just, just to be safe. Maybe what we see will bring up new questions. I don't know. Sure, sure. Uh, yes, just give me uh, a few minutes and I'll be back. I mean, hell, if he fell into a cloud or something somewhere, you guys would know best how to get to him. Ava will... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Ar Arnie looks over. How could you be? We're, we're talking after this. Oh. <laughs> Are they married? Ar uh, w w Winry will exit and uh, head to her apothecary. Right. As we're waiting on her, I'm going to go over to Arnie mm -hmm. and Ava. Hey, how are you guys doing? All right, I guess. There's, I mean, there's so much we need to catch up on, but thank you. Um, yeah, I, I recommend you two just staying in the city for a while. Um, we mentioned that mop up crew; they might be heading toward Hanami now. I, I think it's best you just, you just wait here. I mean, you're Ava, you're, you're valuable, and uh, Arnie. I mean, you know, you're important. There's just so much going on. If there's anything you guys need, please just let me know, but be careful. Yeah. We'll do our best. He will uh, put his hand against your uh, chest. I just put my hand over top his. 
We'll be all right. Um, Ava, what are you going to do now that you're back here? I don't really know. I mean, I was basically a terrorist up until yesterday, so <laughs> I guess I'll just help with any information that needs that needs sent out. We're going to try to do our best to keep the peace or to make peace where it doesn't already exist. And you're going to be a big part of that. I hope so. And I'm just going to stand up, look at Arnie, keep her safe. And then at Ava, keep him safe too. She'll, uh, now with the height advantage, tussle his hair. <laughs> All right. And then I just wait for Winry to work. She will enter back in with a carrying a blanket with a with a lump inside and uh we'll go up to the desk unfurl it and present the glass orb who'd uh who'd like to try whoever knows them the most i'm just gonna sit back and watch i mean i feel like we're the best of friends so i guess i'll do it again <laughs> <laughs> taking the orb from Winry's hands you close your eyes once again and focus on your little buddy hog job top knot it's dark for a few moments until sparkles of embers start dancing around your vision still in complete darkness but you feel cold as well. Whatever light these embers are giving off is very, very dim. Looking around, you can see and feel the frigid temperature of the stonework underneath and against all four walls. Can I see top? Yes. I'll say you can, you were in his vision his point of view, I'll say you can rise above, out of body, and see a single, half-naked, malnourished top knot, covered in dried blood, and you snap out of it as the sense of fear and hopelessness washes over you. He needs her. Did he fall? I don't know where he is, but he, th this isn't right. He, it, it almost looks like he's in prison or he's, he's in rough shape. He needs our help. We need to find him. DM, can I gather? He said frigid cold. Does it seem like he's in Illuminate? No. I'll, I'll say you can't gather the, uh, the, the location. It cold in the sense that it's like underground. Damn not warm it, yeah in a, in a way it's it was more the size of the room compared to the little amount of light um what else did you see i saw a small amount of fire and stone walls stone um can you describe the stone walls uh <laughs> anything dwarf, uh, can i describe the stone walls <laughs> <laughs> in immaculate detail well, just and and I mean, Iron Hammer, you're you're. Well, I have stone cunning. I can oh, you do deliver. you do as well. I could I could use divination and see if my boy Moradin could tell me where he is. Bring up that Moradin. Moradin is here. <laughs> hey. So, yeah, I get to ask a single question concerning a specific goal, event, or activity to occur within seven days. So I could just ask him, where is Top Knot right now? So I guess I'll do that. Moradin would respond, your halfling buddy is buddy. in your final destination. Death. <laughs> He's dead. dead. He's dead. <laughs> I like to play these cruel jokes. He's already dead. <laughs> He's up here chilling with me. Does everyone hear that or do only I hear it? Only you. All right. Uh, Morden said he said our final 
destination. So we know where the, the fuck does that mean? Like, what if, I if, if I head there? If I head there right now, does, is, is that make it my final destination? Like, do we all die there? Anywhere we it go, seems... we come back, and then there's a new destination. <laughs> kind of like, yeah, you know what gods are like. They're all cryptic and shit <laughs> and shite. I, that, it sounds to me like you just made that up. Nah. You stared up at the sky and made something up. Actually, I had to sacrifice an appropriate offering to my religion. Tommy John. <laughs> <laughs> Which, legs. <laughs> is that appropriate to my religion? <laughs> I was just thinking, like maybe a rock or like a hammer. Yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice the old war hammer that I have that I never used. But the spell consumes it, so it presumably bursts into flame and something divine cool looking happened. Uh yes, it disintegrated as well as uh well t- turned to fire and then disintegrated into dust in front of everybody. Yeah, see, look. At least see, I pointed the pile of ashes. See that? Yeah, I guess I've never seen anyone in this group do magic before. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, no. <laughs> promise. How do we get up to the mausoleum? I typically use some kind of flight spell. Uh, if you have that, if not, you can also reach it. Uh, by maybe climbing on a roof. Some, Can you take us there? Some real hool- hooligan shit. Uh, yeah, sure. Does anyone else in this meeting have anything they want to say before we call it a day? I think we got a lot. Yes, I have something to say. Huh? <sighs> it's me, Claude again. It's it's not all mud. It's not all mud. I put horse dung in there too. I'm sorry. It, it is I, Claude. I have returned. I have to be honest. It's not just mud. I'm sorry. Now you know. What is it? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we can call it a day and uh, head up to talk to good old Freddy. You should get some people to your outposts and take care of them because they're your people. Mop, mop. Please, uh, go back to the Nami Forest and, uh, I will see to it that Illuminique has some reinforcements. They deserve better. So be better. I'm gonna walk out. Uh, yes. Mop, mop will go to the forest. Arnie and Ava will stay and Cirrus. Captain Silver will go back to his post. Oh yeah, Claude goes back to the fight pit. And then- uh, And his not really mud. N- not really. It's probably like a 60-40. <laughs> oh no, oh, it's a 60. <laughs> <laughs> you know what. <laughs> are they are they wrestling in shit? <laughs> I feel like that would be a secret for very long. There's a very clear difference between the two yeah. of those things. <laughs> It's not if you water it down first. Yeah. People matter. It's got to be like manure. Eventually, you just get used to it. No. I can tell you <laughs> someone who deals with human shit. <laughs> I mean, we all do. We all deal with human shit at some level. <laughs> okay. Other people's human shit. <laughs> no water. Broken open. You get the middle of the nugget. You don't get used to it. <laughs> the middle of the nugget. <laughs> that's why. That's really why getting, getting real deep in there. <laughs> that's why Claude has <laughs> has a new sign. Spread it upon yourself Ugh. and the walls. That's what we need to do with the mystery of this game: is just get right into the middle of the nugget. <laughs> yeah, dig real that's deep. That's the title of the episode: the middle Find of the nugget. The nice, We've the got nice it, guys. gooey center. <laughs> I'm running that sure, down I right now. It's like a kinder egg. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Trying to think of a title and cover art that matches it is the hardest part of, of editing this. <laughs> Promise will take the four of you, uh, <laughs> dropping Claude off at his establishment. And uh, Claude's establishment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, looking directly above, you can see the mausoleum floating, hovering. Uh, 
about 15 feet ahead. Bromness will reach his hands out uh, if you're ready. Born ready, baby. Hold your hand? Yes. He's gonna grab his ass. Okay. <laughs> he will lift you all up, not feeling any force at all, just hovering feet into the air until you can reach the platform of the mausoleum. It's a uh, good thing uh, you asked me to come as he pulls out a key and unlocks the door to the mausoleum. Yeah, the uh, only way you'd get in here is uh, if you broke in and we would know immediately. I make note of where he puts the key back on his person. You can see him slip it into a uh, back right pocket. Oh, I meant to do this. I forgot. I would like to cast word of recall. Did we like pass by Claude's establishment? Yeah. Claude, I would like to go if we have, let me check how long it takes to cast. Okay. Also, I need to ask you if I'm allowed to do that because technically you're only use word of recall and like, (laughs) <laughs> I think a temple to your deity. <laughs> but Cloud's establishment is basically a temple to us, right? What, what does it do? That's the closest thing to a temple that you've... <laughs> Let me pull up the text of the spell, but basically it's like a teleport, but only to a previously designated spot. And I figured Cloud's establishment was about as close to like a good place as, <laughs> as any to teleport back to. to. Oh, oh, to come back to later. Yeah, okay. You and up to five willing creatures within five feet of you, instantly teleport to a previously designated sanctuary. So you must designate a sanctuary in a location, such as a temple dedicated to or strongly linked to your deity. So you're just uh, If you attempt, yeah, well, so if you attempt to cast a spell in this manner in an area that isn't dedicated to your deity, no effect. But I don't think there's any places dedicated to more than anywhere in this I world, are there? Like- Every bar that Iron Hammer has visited should be designated as a temple to Moradin. <laughs> so that, that's, yeah. GM, that's GM discretion if you want to Because it does explicitly say that it's not allowed. <laughs> but I don't think there are any temples to Moradin like anywhere in this world. No, I never planned a specific religion. But I feel like you and Claude have such a bond at this point. Yeah, we're ba- we're, I'm basically his god. <laughs> so I, I'm still we're so God, God. we're the gods we're you, each other's gods this is the place that you can teleport us to yeah time or from just like another place that's anytime uh, any yeah but I have to designate it first so I couldn't have done it before okay so you're but now that we're back now. I figure it's like a safe spot I can designate it's like an oh shit button like, we need to get the fuck out of here. Sure. Or we're just tired and we don't want to walk back. That's a I'm really point. glad that, like, both of us now have easy bamfing powers. Yeah. Gotta love those higher levels. So if you're allowing it, uh, then I'll make it Claude's, Claude's establishment. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Okay, cool. So I'll designate that then for a word of recall. So you guys can enter this small stone building once Bromness has unlocked the door and slipped the key back into his pocket. Inside are a few uh, lit torches illuminating the single casket in the middle of the room. Inside is uh, his his body. If, uh, if you like to pop it open and do whatever you need to do. Thank you for letting us do this. Of course. What is the, this building's made of stone? Yep. Can I uh, look to see how old the stone building and the casket is? Uh, yes, they are pretty similar to the stonework in Cirrus in general. Uh, so a couple hundred years old. The so- casket is basically the same as well. What I'm trying to gather is, was this location a location before before our final memory? No. 
I mean, we would have. This, I don't know if we ever asked, but like, we just maps of the continents, right? Like, we don't recognize the continents. No. So it's either like. So even if it is the future, it's like the future of a different place. Yeah. Like, like Sirius in general, you would have no recollection of. Uh, the mausoleum, definitely you have no idea. I'm just I'm just trying to connect do- connect dots here. So I remember a couple episodes ago we had a vision. Yep. Of us entering battle in in New Haven. New Haven armor. Yep. So New Haven was Sirius wasn't made until after we had fallen asleep. Yes. But New Haven, but New Haven was a place before we had fallen asleep. Yes, which you, we don't re- we don't remember New Haven. And now you can, I'd say you can after that last memory. That was your first real insight, so you can assume now you have some recollection some recollection of New Haven, but you would have no idea about Cirrus. So we rem- was New Haven. So does the New Haven we remember the same New Haven that we've been to? Yes. In this time period. Same place, same location. Yes. So we don't... Fuck, this is... Ah. Ah. Wait, so we do remember New Haven. Yeah, after that last... After that memory, you guys would have known about New Haven before falling asleep. But that was kind of like like one of the like awakenings. But we don't recognize like the land masses... Like, we've seen maps of Muldoon and these other places. But, yeah, you don't... No, you don't recognize any of the other places. Illuminique. So it'd be like, if I just, like, if I just randomly forgot what North America looked like, is what I, is what I mean. Yeah, like, you like you would have no okay. idea what North America looked like, but, like, say you live in, like, Wisconsin. Right, okay. So, it, it is, as weird as this is going to sound, it's like we were alive during the Civil War. Or, wow, well, Civil War would be even too recent. Like, the Revolutionary War. Mm-hmm. So, like, there were some shitty little cities. Yep. And then we fell asleep and woke up today. Yep. Like, we wouldn't be aware of Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. But we'd be aware of Philadelphia. Yeah. Got yeah, it. yeah, exactly. Your, your small locale, you know, but the grand scale, no idea. You guys all zoned out for, like, five minutes there. What... Like collectively, what was that about? Just talking with God. Yeah, just. Oh, just, just I didn't use the voice. <laughs> it's me, Lord. Um, not really sure why I just thought about this now. Do uh, I learned about this a little bit at the church when we were at the bazaar um, about a spell that can help with poisons and different things. Greater restoration, I think they called it. Do either of you have that? Yep. Have you done that on anyone in your party? Uh, didn't I grow back somebody's... Tried to grow back somebody's eyeball. Oh, I tried to grow back somebody's eye. I don't think you let me. Oh, Captain Sarah. I don't remember. Captain, yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, like, of your party, of of you three and Top Knot. No, I did offer to grow Felix's fingers back. So, but wait. What if... Greater restoration could help clear the fog of your guys' memories, of your minds, like, of, I don't know. Isn't that one of the things that that spell does, is get rid of weird effects? It's like magical. I can magical dispel or, magic. Magical or otherwise. Well. I mean, if I were to get poisoned, then you could presumably do greater restoration to help me. Being poisoned isn't a magic effect. Wouldn't greater restoration work on like mental effects as well? No. Basically, a greater restoration is for like if you're charmed or petrified, or if like you're cursed. Greater restoration can help. I don't know. Maybe you're cursed. Could be cursed. Could this be amnesiacs? I don't know. It was just something I was thinking about. Like, how crazy would it be if you had the ability to remember everything all along and you just didn't happen to, <laughs> to use it? Hey, DM, yeah, can we fix this? <laughs> we would not have reached 43 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Iron Hammer, can you do your thing? Sure. Is there a body in front of me? Bromness will lift the stone 
lid off of uh, off of the box. Promise, you were like yeah. pretty good pals with them, right? Uh, yes. Uh, I don't know if I'd say pals, but we we knew each other pretty well. Maybe you should ask the questions then, since he knew you better than he knew. Well, I mean, he didn't know us. Sure. Uh, feed me whatever so what, you need. Okay. He will. So yeah, uh, we'll first, the he will lift the uh, velvet blanket and pull it down uh, just under the halfling's chin. As you can see, a uh, graying, decayed uh, halfling man just. 200, 200 years. He's not a skeleton. Just barely wisps of hair. Uh, but he has. Uh, sunken eyeballs just completely blacked out. Oh, yeah. It's creepy. That is. Says, uh, this is our elder. The last Cast. name on the coffin? Frederick Fredrickson. Fredrickson. Frederick Topknot. <laughs> <laughs> the only other halfling we've met. It was it was a coincidence, wasn't it? No, I... I, I don't... Maybe Topknot is his father. Whoa. Before from the, the, from the past. <laughs> the past future. <laughs> the past future. <laughs> I'm going to leave that in because I never gave Frederick a last name, so who knows? Spoiler. Not, has never had sex. <laughs> <laughs> or seen another naked. He, 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 uh, he's, he's asexual. I've said that before. It's canon. Anyway, I speak with dead. I do jazz hands at the corpse. The corpse shines with a with a glow of uh, blue film uh, covering its face as it dissipates and Bromness will lay a hand on the chest what's uh what's first do we know do we know where Muldoon is like the general direction like if we just got on a boat would we know how we're to get on there? Muldoon Primador From- or, sorry sorry Primador. Primador I have a map <laughs> Sure, but does the map include both continents? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was just a map of Primador. I think it's it's a map of both, but Primador is only the uh, southwestern tip. Uh, you don't know how large the landmass is. Okay, but we know the direction. Actually, is what I was getting. Yep, north northeast. Okay. Ask him about his potion, the blue one. Oh yeah, ask him, if, ask him what the potion is. Um, Penelope, pull it out again. Pull it out. I'll whip it out. Hey, uh, Frederick, got a couple, uh, couple of buddies here. I have a couple questions, if you don't mind. The mausoleum will shake slightly. Whoa. Well, that this, usually uh, doesn't happen. This, this potion, these holding up here, uh, what, what is this? And the body will respond. Uh, you can all hear it from uh, with a, with an almost uh, uh, ethereal, heavenly voice. That's my <laughs> great, yeah. greatest creation. Uh, uh, ethereal, heavenly voice. <laughs> can you please just make a voice that's not <laughs> fucking annoying. <laughs> it's just a half like thing. That was uh. <laughs> That was my that was my life's greatest work with New Haven. <laughs> I can't take this corpse seriously. <laughs> its intended use was to drop just a single drop onto an astral and wipe it out. Commissioned by the the king himself, and it works pretty pretty damn well. If I have to say, what does it do? How did you make it? It's it's designed to eat through the flesh, uh, speci- specifically of uh, of the astrals and and their and their kind, uh, made up of their blood as well as any of the great beasts that we could gather. It's distilled down and using a couple of our own ingredients, I was able to reverse engineer what gives them their lifeblood. Just for Jesse here, um, 
Is this the same potion that Scarlet found when we first woke up? Yes, in the lab, mm. of the skeleton. So wait, we someone else had this potion. Ask him who the skeleton was. Well, the skeleton could have been someone he worked with. It was a pretty old body, a couple hundred years yeah. potentially. That could have been their lab. That could have been. But maybe we can ask him why. We can ask him if it was his lab. Yeah. We well, yeah. don't know anything like, about it. How many questions do you get, by the way? Is it five? Five. Five questions. All right. This will be your third then. We could ask him about it. I mean, it seems pretty important if we woke up in it with more of this strange oh, mystery liquid. Wait, you're talking about. Wait, you guys woke up in the tyrant space? We didn't wake up in a tyrant space. I thought you were saying we woke up in the... Oh, never mind. I'm confused. Yeah, you woke up in the cave to the... Oh, in the shit, yeah. Yeah. Okay, totally ignore everything I just said. I've heard, I've heard about... I mean, you guys have told Senwick about this whole thing. I, I don't know. Maybe he knows something about what happened to you guys. Sure, we could ask him anyway. I don't know. Do we ask him why he well, do... wanted these creatures dead in the first place? Just to kill them? Yeah, it might be good to get some motivations. Why was he commissioned to make the potion to kill all of them? Yeah, Bromness, ask him that one. All right. All right. All right. Uh, third, third question, Freddy. Freddy boy. Uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> Pure eradication. I've told you before, Bromness, I... Uh, it's a deep regret of mine, but it was meant purely for destruction. You could ask him if he's been to Primador, or what to expect there. Yeah, that's my bad. Yeah, that's, yeah. No, no, I, I was never able to, to get there. But uh, I was able to see what was there. Fuck. That's our last it's... question. What did you see? <laughs> Yeah, should we, should, we, should we ask that? Yeah. Or do we ask about us? I guess we're going there. It's more relevant to ask the Primador. True. Yeah, ask, ask what he saw. I saw a community. A group of astrals. <laughs> hundreds of them. Just living through a, through a spyglass. Creepy. Yeah, through a spyglass when he was at the tower. Be, in, be at peace. With a burst of uh, blue fizzing energy, his body, as well as the mo mausoleum, shakes once again as he is resting. And Bromness pulls the blanket over his eyes. I hope that was uh, enough to get you started. Everything I must have been, to know. That must have been weird for you to see your dead friend all decomposed and talking and stuff. Yeah, honestly, it was strange the first couple times, but... The first couple times? Do you normally come here and talk? Uh, uh, once oh, in a yeah. while, if I'm bored. <laughs> I Unfortunately, I can't talk for as long as you can, though. Well, I am a professional. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's head back down, I guess. Head to New Haven. Fuck. What time is it? It. Do we rest? Do we rest here first and then head down the next day? Yeah. Um. Let's. Let's rest. Oh well. If we're gonna if we're gonna rest anyway, I want to test out word of recall. <laughs> From here. <laughs> yeah, we're floating in the air. Might as well, right? Yeah. Fuck it. Everyone, come here. Hold hands. You gotta be within five feet. Let's make a nice circle. Five. Wow, so all of us. Cool. Yep. I was thinking if it was six, you accidentally teleport the dead body. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Suddenly, the whole city crumbles. <laughs> 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 the power holding everything aloft. <laughs> I mean, I don't think a dead body counts as a creature still, anymore, so I think it should He's be still in the city. So, uh, <laughs> question. Did uh, the, the, the spawn point, is it anywhere in the bar? <laughs> Or is it directly uh, outside? I would say it'd be inside. The wording of the spell is like a temple. So I'd imagine, because it's supposed to be like your god teleporting you to safety. So I'd imagine it would be inside. Well, 
I'll say just like, just like a common area, right into the mud pit. Yeah, I'll <laughs> the middle of the fight pit. I'll say <laughs> we'll end the episode <laughs> with uh, uh on that, on that, okay. the five of you guys instant <laughs> transmissioning into <laughs> directly into the mud pit. Ah, Brom Bromness is gonna ask for laundry money. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to find Arnie. But nothing special. Just try to track him down and spend the night with wherever he's staying. At wherever he's staying. You can find him uh in the library with Ava. As they're just trying to unwind. I hope I'm not interrupting. Oh no. No, not at all. Just catching up. Just wanted somewhere quiet. Do you want time just for the two of you, or I can come back later? No, no, no. That's fine. Uh, Ava will uh, walk out. Uh, that's all right. I found uh, some some light reading. Go ahead. Are you sure? You haven't seen each other in so long. I feel bad. Please, we'll we'll find each other again. I'm just going to take a seat at the table. Just talk. 